Both LRO and LCROSS need a successful launch in order to begin their missions. Our next guest is an integral part in getting these spacecraft and many others off the ground. Chuck Tatro is a mission manager in NASA's Launch Services Program at Kennedy Space Center. He's going to tell us about the unique challenges of this two-for-one launch. Hello, my name is Chuck Tatro and I'm a mission manager for NASA's Launch Service Program at Kennedy Space Center. We're at the Vertical Integration Facility on Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. This is where we will assemble the Atlas V rocket that will send the LRO and LCROSS spacecraft on their journey to the moon. As a mission manager, my job is to lead the effort to bring a new spacecraft and launch vehicle together to where they're ready to launch. About three months before launch, the spacecraft and the launch vehicle components arrive at the launch site for final testing. About two months before launch, the rocket components are erected on the mobile launch platform and filled with cryogenic fluids for a wet dress rehearsal. About two weeks before launch, the spacecraft is brought out here to the vertical integration facility and stacked on the rocket. At about one week before launch, we do a launch countdown rehearsal so the team can practice for countdown. In a dual payload flow, both spacecraft have their own intricate and intimate requirements that are separate and may not play together nicely with the other spacecraft. For, for example, contamination, orbital requirements. Because LCROSS is going to impact the moon and LRO is going to go in orbit around the moon, we need to make sure that one doesn't adversely impact the other. The first challenge on this mission is the fact that the Centaur second stage will remain attached to the LCROSS spacecraft after it does its normal job of delivering LRO and LCROSS on their journey to the moon. LCROSS then will command the Centaur stage for an impact into the lunar surface. The second challenge is that the orbit requirements for each spacecraft are complex. This narrows the daily launch window that we have to launch this mission. The third challenge is that this is NASA's first step in our return to the moon. So there's a lot of public awareness and increased interest in this mission. We want to make sure that this mission is launched safely and successfully. That's our show. To our guests, Kathy Petty, Dr. Kimberly Enico, and Chuck Tatro, thanks for giving us an insider's view of these two missions. We also thank all of you for joining us for today's webcast. Be sure to join us on launch day for the liftoff of the Atlas V rocket carrying the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter and the Lunar Crater Observation and Sensing Satellite. You can follow the countdown on NASA TV and on each mission's website at www.nasa.gov slash LRO and www.nasa.gov slash LCROSS. From Kennedy Space Center in Florida, I'm George Diller.